Hi everybody, this is Matt from 3540 Media with a tutorial for Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop on how to selectively change colors in an image. Now last week you probably saw this picture floating around in your social media timelines or whatever. And everyone went crazy about whether this dress was blue and black or white and gold. And there was a big debate, and it just was everywhere. It got on the Today Show and all kinds of things. But this got me to thinking about how, in the days we live in now with Photoshop, how we can really change reality and make any picture, any color in a picture, any color we want, basically. And I'm going to demonstrate this now in Lightroom. Um, so I have this loaded in Lightroom and whether you think this dress is blue and black or white and gold we can all agree that it has a blue tint to it and knowing that we, what we can do in Lightroom is pick color in the palettes over here there's a color palette which gives you you can select selectively pick colors in an image and since this is blue we'll pick blue and then you can use the sliders here hue to change the hue of the dress so if we wanted to make it a purplish we could do that we can boost the saturation of that purple make it a deeper purple and the luminance as well so we can since this was a not a very good quality image it's not doesn't look very good but uh, what practical applications can we use this tool for? Um, a couple weeks ago, my friend Karen and I did a photo shoot where she needed headshots. So here's one of those pictures. And what I did was, since she had a blue sweater on, I selected blue and I boosted the saturation of her sweater to make it pop a little bit more. Her lipstick was a red color so I picked red I boosted the saturation of that and actually changed the hue a little bit and then since I know skin tones reside m mainly in the orange realm, <laughs> realm um, I boosted the saturation of orange and the luminance to kind of brighten up her face uh, what else can we do? Um, I know about a month ago you probably saw this at the Super Bowl. Katy Perry and her infamous dancing sharks, especially the left one. Say we wanted to change the color of the sharks. They're blue right now and maybe we want them to be kind of gray. like a More like a great white shark. So we'll pick blue and let's slide the hue to something a little more pale and then let's take the saturation way down so now the sharks are gray but there's a problem um, see the there was blue waves in the background and Katy Perry's dress had blue on it so that got changed too but we don't want that so what can we do to fix that uh, basically what we're going to need to do is open this image in Photoshop so that we can mask out what we don't want affected by our hue, saturation, and luminance. So once we have that open in Photoshop, what we'll do is double click on the layer in the layers panel to unlock it, then pick filter convert for smart filters and then we will pick filter camera raw filter and this basically gives us all the same tools that we had in Lightroom inside of Photoshop and so we'll pick the HSL grayscale tap and let's change the hue of the blues to something paler then take the saturation of the blues out 
take them gray sharks and click OK. And then what that does is gives us a layer mask for the smart filters, which the camera raw filter is being used as a smart filter here. So we'll select the mask. And what we want to do is paint with the brush black over what we don't want affected by our filter. So we will paint black over Katy Perry's dress here to bring back the original blue color. And then we can paint over the waves. I won't get too in depth with the painting here, but you get the idea. And you can basically do that with any color that's prominent in an image. So if I wanted to change the yellow, I could pick yellow in the smart filter or this red. I could do that, although that would change this red over here, but you get the basic idea. Anyway, that's it for this quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, click like and please subscribe. And uh, there's going to be new tutorials over Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere, After Effects, and basic stuff like that every Monday. So please subscribe so you can get that. Thank you for watching and have a great day.